Bye guys. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Laura Jane and you are watching my very first video, so thank you so much for clicking. If you want to see how I completed this makeup look that's on my face right now, then please keep watching as I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how I did it and which products I used. All of the products I used today were from Boots and you can find them for under £10. Thank you so much for clicking. Please like, please subscribe and head over to my Instagram if you want to see more from me. Without further ado, into the video. And we're back, and I have gone from like a seven to like a solid two and a half. But we're gonna start off, I'm gonna show you exactly how I went from looking like this to looking like what you just saw, <sighs> to looking like what you just saw in the intro, hopefully. So I'm gonna start by just prepping my lips with a little bit of lip balm because your girl is dry. <laughs> uh, so today, I went into boots thinking we're gonna get a little bit of makeup. What actually happened was I went in and I saw all of these brands that I've never heard of before because I've lived in the US for a while so I'm used to Sephora and all the American brands but I found some new ones that I was just so excited about so I thought let's go on this journey together. <laughs> maybe things will work out and maybe they won't. We're gonna start off with L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Work. So I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge Okay, so we're on to the second pump now. I don't know if it's the sponge soaking up. I think the... Okay, so in boots, it said high coverage. I would say it's pretty full coverage. It's really, really dewy. I'm gonna bring it down to the neck. We want our neck to match our face. This shade is shade 140. And this is a little bit lighter than my skin. But I feel like it's always better to go for a lighter foundation because you can darken it up with bronzer later. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm so wrong about these things. I am in no way a makeup artist. <laughs> it's just creasing a tiny bit, but I have like golem eyes. So I am moving on to concealer. So this is Collections Lasting Perfection Concealer. I feel like such a beauty girl when I do this. <laughs> Who do I think I am? I'm just gonna put this on everything we want to cover up, which is everything. This is shade 1B. I'm gonna take a sponge we're gonna blend, blend, blend. I like to put a bit of excess on my eyelids because I'm lazy and I don't use primer. Oh no. <laughs> I really like this concealer. It's covering up all my sins. All that sleep I don't get anymore because I have a new puppy. Her name is Lola and she is gorgeous. But she wakes up so early in the morning. She needs to wee. So we gotta take her outside. Okay, next we're gonna bake. We're gonna take the same sponge that we've been using because lazy. And I'm gonna use Barry M's Ready Set Smooth. It's oil absorbing and anti shine, which is good when you like me and you get oily, shiny face. <laughs> oh. We're gonna dip in. I'm just gonna put it on all the oily bits of my face and under the eyes to really set that. Do you ever feel like sometimes you're just putting stuff on your face and you have no idea what you're doing? That's me. Do I look beautiful now? Oh, we're gonna move on to our eyes. Now I have Morphe's new Eye Obsessed Palette, which I'm so excited to use. So the look we're gonna be doing today, I'm actually going out later for um, dinner with my family. So I wanna do like a nice, pretty dinner out evening look. I found this makeup brand, it's called Sleek Makeup and it's the Eye Divine Mineral Based Eyeshadow. Ooh, they're so pretty. This is what they look like. So this Morphe brush set comes with 12 brushes. We're gonna go in with the pointed blender brush because I just use whatever brush for whatever I'm doing. If I think it looks right, let me know if you relate. So I'm gonna go in with number three, just this one here. We're gonna, ooh, that is some fall out. That's why we keep our wave on just in case. And I'm gonna go all over the lid. I'm gonna go into the crease with number 12. 
this really nice chocolate brown. I always like to go a little bit above my crease as well because I have really hooded eyes. And the same on the other side. I have like the most uneven face of anyone that I've ever known. So it's so hard for me to get my eyes the same. Does anyone else find that? If anyone has any like tips or tricks or like how to make your eyes look the same when your face is odd. I'm just darkening the outer corner. Now I don't know whether to cut my crease or not. So I feel like that might be a little bit too much for this. No, we're gonna do that next video because I will mess up. So the next shade we're gonna dip into is gonna be number two. Also, apologies about this nail. I've been growing my nails out, but this one, she's fighting me. We're gonna go in with just this little packer brush. I'm gonna really just pack this on. This shade is really, really nice. Ah, oh, girl. Now I'm gonna go back in with the chocolate shade and I'm just gonna go over the top. So I think I'm gonna go with number 11 and keep that rose gold going because who doesn't love rose gold? And we're gonna pack that just in our inner corner and we're gonna blend it through to that deeper rose. And then we're gonna take that same shade and we're gonna just put that under our brow bone for a little extra. Now I've done that, I'm just gonna take a nice big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna wipe away that fake. Does anybody else get a sweaty upper lip? I'm disgusting. Me and my friend Abby love the film Wild Child. Honestly, it's iconic. And she's like sweaty upper lip. I'm gonna take this brush that I have and I'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray. And we're gonna go back into that color and I just wanna see if I can make that pop. Sometimes when something's nice, I just like keep going and I can't stop and then I ruin everything. So we're probably heading in that direction now. I'm gonna do the same with the rose gold one. It's just so pretty. So, another final thing I like to do, and I got this from Tati Westbrook, who I am obsessed with. Also, I did just sneeze and I just completely ignored the fact that I sneezed, so excuse me. We're gonna take this gold color right here. It would be number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, number nine. And I'm just gonna put it on my finger. And I'm just gonna put it on the center of my eye. It just draws the attention to the very middle of your eye. And I just think it looks so nice. Tip of the day. Should I make that a segment? Tip of the day. No, shut up, Laura. This is a winner winner chicken dinner for me. This palette is only $8.99. I think that is sick. Let's contact. I feel like I'm doing this in all the wrong order, but never mind. This is Rimmel's Natural Bronzer. And we're gonna do like the Queen Kim K Tours. We're gonna do a little three on our face. I'm gonna really go heavy on my 10 head. And now I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush again. I'm gonna go in with the exact same bronzer and I'm just gonna bronze all over my face. gonna stop because you're probably thinking what are you doing that's so much bronzer let's go back into our contour so exactly where we would think that our cheekbones would be if we were blessed with cheekbones i however was blessed with a pan face i look like i got like hit in the face with a frying <laughs> next is the really exciting part highlight this highlight is exclusive to Boots. It's from a brand called Obsession. It's called Mega Metal. I'm just gonna take a little brush. Oh, girl! I love a blinding highlight. Moving along, brows. 
This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil in dark brown. I'm a girl that uses eyeshadow for her eyebrows. I'm gonna try. So I'm just brushing my eyebrows now with the spoolie end. Oh, this is one of those like twisty. Ooh. You know what I'm jealous of? How everyone on Love Island always has like the most perfect makeup. Do they do it themselves? My whole family would sit and watch it together. My dad would pretend that he didn't like it and then he would be more invested than all of us. I'm gonna use Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara from Maybelline. Okay, so we've just done a tiny little layer, but look, three strokes on each eye. I'm gonna go in with the Isla Lux Bauble Eyelashes. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have any tips or suggestions on how to put eyelashes on better and quicker than I just did. I'm gonna take this angled brush. I'm gonna take the darkest brown again and we're just gonna line the eyes a tiny bit because I want it to blend in. That just really like made it look a little bit more it was like a tiny little, not a real cat eye. Now we're just going to connect our real eyelashes to our nice eyelashes. We're going to go onto our lower lash line. I should have done this before. I'm going to take that same little liner, go in with that chocolate brown again. Underneath. So I just feel like that finishes off like that nice cat eye without actually having to do a winged liner. Lastly, we have our lips. Now I have gone with the same brand as this eyeshadow palette, the Sleek brand. It is the Locked Lip Super Precise Lip Liner in Blindfolded. I like to overline my lips when I go out. Because again, we've got to fake it till we make it. Now, another trick I like to use is not only do I line my lip, oh my god, I look ridiculous. <laughs> it will get better, I promise. I bring the liner inside the lip line because I feel like when you add the lipstick, it's less line and it just makes everything come together. So we have our Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream and I just think it's so cute. This is in the colour Shabby Chic. goes on so smooth and creamy. I've never actually tried the Kylie Jenner lip kit. Let me know if you have and if you like them because I'm really interested to try them. Even though I'm like obsessed with the Kardashian to like an unhealthy degree. I've never tried her stuff. That has dried down so beautifully. It's not crusty. It's a little bit darker than what I thought. In the packaging it looks a little bit lighter than what's on my face. So our last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our face. Now, Jeffree Star is my idol. And he did a video where he came to the UK and he was trying to find drugstore makeup that's UK only. And he was raving about Barry M. He used the Flawless Mist and Fix Makeup Setting Spray. We're gonna set our face with this and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna go do my hair, change my clothes, and I will be right back to show you the finished look for today. So see you soon. So I'm back and we are finished. I've done my hair, I've done my glam, and I've put a nice top on ready to go out tonight. If you've made it this far with me, then thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Anything you wanna know, anything you want me to do, then please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from all of you. Again, thank you so much for staying with me this long. This is our completed look. Really easy and everything you can find at Boots or in your local drugstore. I hope you have fun shopping for all of these products. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye!